Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing the Gucci Brixton loafers in light pink leather. That's the kind I have. So I just kind of wanted to go into the wear and tear. Is it worth the money? And just my opinion on the shoe itself. Before we even begin, I did want to kind of try like a do-it-yourself um, cleaning. I do have a light scuff on them from just like uh, at work. I have like a seating stool like a just like a footstool almost and it has like black rubber on it and I did um, just like rub it against there so I do have a light mark so I kind of I wanted to try olive oil to see if it would come out I did try a little bit before so like jump head it does work it, it was a little darker before I can put in photos just so you could show how it first was but it was darker than this but I did try it already so it does work I'm gonna just try to finish it off now with you guys um but yeah so I just used a dab of olive oil and I just kind of like I'm using slow motions around so just if anyone you know has a scuff on any leather shoes or just like you know is worried about like how to take away stains this does work I just I usually use olive oil like yesterday I got uh, crazy glue on my hands and I just like rinsed my hands in olive oil and usually it does help um, any type of oil is like just like a good adhesive room and slow motion just making sure I get in the area and it, it is uh, removing it so it does work and this is just you know I just wanted to inform people because I know I was a little worried about I had these for like a week and then I scuffed them and I've just had them on since because I usually leave these at work so I brought them home so I can review them for you guys but I usually do just leave them at work yes this does work I don't know if it will fully remove it probably have to dip more of it but it does definitely take away a majority of it which I'm happy about I wasn't really like worried about this the scuff to begin with just because I knew I would be able to get it out but I just want to kind of do this with you guys or partly with you guys so you can kind of see if you guys were having these questions or worries about purchasing this item or if you you know damaged your own shoe already and we were just wondering how do I remove it without paying money because you can always go to like a leather surgeon I know in New York City they have the leather spas so I could always do that if I needed to but I just kind of wanted to do it myself just because I knew it wasn't that big of a deal get on to the review so these are the my loafers and I purchased them in the light pale pink leather just because I wanted something different I want something to stand out usually I wear it with like like an outfit today just like a black shirt a black pants or sometimes I'll do black pants and a black silk shirt so I just want I really do love pink actually I have my airpods in a pink case cover I have my laptop in a pink case cover, my phone's in a pink case cover, so I do also really like pink. I started recently liking it, even even my like key holder from uh, Louis Vuitton, I got the rose ballerine interior, so I just like pink right now, like that's just what I'm into, so when I got these, I was also still into pink very much, <laughs> so I just purchased these um, loafers, they do have them in like black white or like a cream color i know they have like a maroon color now i think they have an orange color as well so they always come out with like seasonal colors and then they just have like their like standard colors year round and you could all each like department store i feel like sells different ones so if you look on the gucci website compared to when you look on the barney's website compared to if you look on the Saks website they all have like they all have like the gucci brixton's but they're all different colors like selective colors and i've seen that even with like montclair i remember i was like looking at a Montclair jacket and one like the Saks had like this navy color and then Montclair didn't have that navy color and I was just one I was like why don't you guys carry the same things and they say just for exclusivity and yeah they just try to make sure that the, like when they do um distribute to certain department stores that they like have their own colors and then those department stores will also have like a unique color kind of to make them stand out for just like selling purposes and they're in light pink leather they almost they're really such a really they're such a buttery soft leather it's just it's really it's like buttery smooth they do wrinkle easily like I don't know if you can tell here like they do wrinkle easily 
So if you're a person that doesn't like, you know, like a shoe that looks aged, I definitely do think these will age fast just because the way the leather kind of, you know, it has creases, it's very smooth, it's buttery, so it's gonna it's just gonna crease really easily and as soon as you put them on, they're gonna crease and they're just gonna wrinkle and that's just the type of leather they are. So if you're not a fan of that, I would suggest maybe possibly not purchasing these because you might get disappointed after even a couple wears depending on like how much use you're actually gonna get out of these. But I don't mind necessarily like the wrinkles on them. I do still keep them with what they came with. I know you could buy like the shoe, actual shoe inserts and those would be a good investment just to keep the mold of the leather and the mold of just making it not look as wrinkly. So this definitely helps. But yeah, I, I honestly don't really mind it too much. I'm a little worried because it is a lighter leather that it might look really, really aged. But I know in the black ones, I've seen them super wrinkly and they don't look that bad. It's just all your preference. And then on the back of them, they're also leather, which is... Uh, I have like a love-hate relationship with these soles just because I do like how they're leather. It makes them look really luxurious and... They, they just, they do look really nice and you can tell they're handcrafted, handmade, but as soon as you walk in them, like, I don't even think of taking these outside, like, I only wear these inside of work and they already look so beat up. If you splash water on them, like, anything, they just, the sole gets beat up. So, I haven't even taken these outside on the gravel yet. I probably will, like, for, I kept them at work because it was summer and I just, I feel like these type of shoes look with jeans and dress pants and stuff. I didn't really like the outfits I was wearing them in the summer where I'm wearing shorts and dresses. I just didn't think this matched for my style with these. So I was waiting more for like the fall and like maybe in spring too as well when I can wear jeans. So maybe I'll start wearing these more on the weekends, but currently I just wear these two at work. But I'm just nervous. I'm nervous for these soles. If you're a person that doesn't care about soles, then this is perfectly fine. But I don't know, it's just, I don't know if you can tell, it's like so thin, it's like such a thin piece of leather, so that's what I get more worried. I know like this is thicker, obviously, but I just wish it was a little thicker. But you can apply rubber soles onto these, which I might end up doing. This is, applying the rubber sole can help it um, not be as slippery, because these are very slippery because they are leather. So if you're in like walking in the rain or anything, I would suggest not and also just being very careful so you can also apply the rubber sole and that can make it more durable not have you know you can cover it up so you don't get these like marks and it just makes it easier to use as an everyday shoe and then also this is like the iconic like gucci like loafer design it is in that brushed almost like antique gold um which i love with this pale pink I don't really like it in like the Marmount bags. At first, I really love them. I really love the Gucci Marmount bags, but to me, I just, they look kind of tacky almost now. I don't know if it's because I'm like overseeing them, but I just feel like they're not classic. And that's just my opinion. A lot of people think they're like a timeless piece, but I feel like I just don't see that. I think it's just like that brushed gold antique, especially with the belts and stuff. I just don't really like it. I don't know if it's because I've been overseeing it or what it is, but I just find it a little tacky. And I know a lot of people disagree, but that's just my opinion on them. I think they just, they don't look as a, not that their quality might not be there, but it's just that brush, like gold antique. And that's what they're known for. And if you love that type of style, like I think that like, you know, like obviously get it, but that's just not my style. So to me, I just, I'm just not a fan, but I do love it in these loafers and I, I would, buy another pair I definitely would I think I want to get the black pair next but you know they are an expensive shoe these do retail for $730 I definitely I'm going to make a video soon on just like ways to save and smart spending when it comes to luxury goods because whenever I do buy luxury good I always end up saving money and I think that's very important and most people 
assume that since it's a luxury good, they don't go on sale or you can't get a discount, but I definitely want to show a video to kind of suggest that you can still get a discount, but you just need to know how and when to shop. So yeah, that will be coming out soon, so stay tuned. But this is just, you know, just wanted to give you guys kind of like the specs, the wear and tear on them, my opinion on them. I do like them a lot. I do. I don't regret purchasing them. I just do feel like they're a little more on the high maintenance side of first shoe if you want them to keep them looking how they do right now. And if you're a person that loves to wear your shoe to death, then maybe I would suggest not buying these and just buying the cheaper alternative versions to them, like the Steve Madden and Sam Edelman. I have not used them personally, but I, there are a lot of cheaper options out there. So if you're not looking to spend hundreds of dollars on the Gucci version, I would suggest um, buying the more budget-friendly version, just because these do... I think they have like more of a, a maintenance to them compared to some other shoes that I have. But overall, it's just like an amazing shoe. I love the feel of the leather. I love, I do love the sole as much as it's so thin and it destroys very easily. I do love that, you know, it's just the look of it. It has that quality, luxurious look. And I think, I think I it was worth the money for me, but I also, I don't know if these, like, if a budget-friendly version comes in this light pink. That was one of the reasons why I was buying it. I didn't really look to see if other people made them in pink, but I know with the, like, the classic colors, you can definitely buy it from, like, so many other um, brands, but I don't know about this pink. So, that's just my review on them. I hope this helps, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe down below and yeah so i'll see you guys soon um oh, also also sorry guys if you're still here with me i just finally set up my video scheduling i'll be posting and uploading videos every wednesday and sunday so look forward to those days as my posting dates uh dates just because I know initially I've just been posting randomly, but I kind of want to get on a schedule to better help you guys, to better help me out, and just kind of coordinate things a little better. So, yeah, every Wednesday and Sunday. And even if you can see now, like, where I filmed has changed. So, as you see me, like, just, like, advancing and creating more film and content for you guys, I might be changing up a bit just because I'm still figuring out what's best for you know, making the perfect videos, what's the best lighting. I'm still working on the lighting, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just because I moved spots now, it's a little harder with the light. So everything's still a work in progress. Um, I appreciate your comments uh, and your likes. They really do mean a lot. And I'm so excited to see you guys soon.